Hi, you guys. My name is Dee. This is my husband, Derek, and we are the... Debt Destroyers. Yes. <laughs> and yet, and yes, we're back with another video. This one, we're going to do um, a tag. It's called the Couples and Money. Money Talk Tag. Um, the Fund and Budget Act. Tanisha, she did, did a video with those questions. And so we decided that we would do it as well. Um, I thought that some of the questions were interesting and I guess, you know, with us answering those questions, you can figure out a little bit more about us and and our financial process throughout all these years that we've been together. Mm. So you ready? Ready. Let's get started. Sit. <laughs> okay. Oh, go. Go? Yeah. Okay. So the tag questions. The first one is thinking back to my online dating profile what was your first impression of my financial habits which um online we started dating. yeah online profile we we started we got together before social media we didn't meet through social media um we got together back in the 90s so yeah the internet was probably just coming out then mm -hmm. um so we met in high school so yeah. um what are your first impression of my financial habits just throughout the years that we've been together um how do you feel about my, about my financial habits stingy <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't expecting that why would you yeah stingy which is a good thing i, I am i am i admit mm -hmm. that for, some, for certain things yeah i'm very stingy mm -hmm. and then you know other things maybe not so much but yeah for the most part i am stingy mm -hmm. um financial habits with you i'm gonna go back to when we first started um i had that yeah you didn't have any you he just mm -hmm. bought whatever he was into name brand clothes at that yeah, point i'm stylish yeah i was freaking, freaking fresh yeah <laughs> Now you're a DJ, you went from singing I was fresh. to a DJ. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, he was into clothes and looking good. Um, mm -hmm. And see, with me in the beginning, I already had bills by then. So I was more of working and paying bills. And what I had left over, I wasn't splurging. So yeah, <laughs> that's question number one. Question number two, should couples go Dutch or should one person pay for the dates? Couples? Couples, yeah. Uh, one person. One person? Yeah. It depends. How long you been together, first of all. Um, if you're just starting out and if if the woman asks the guy on a date, yeah, maybe the, the woman should pay since mm -hmm. she asks. The guy still should pay. You think so? Yeah. For the most part, yeah, I think men should pay, but mm -hmm. it just, it, it depends on the relationship. Like, you just starting out. And if you ask a woman on a date, I think the guy should pay. But then yeah. if the woman asks the guy on a date, I think the woman should pay if she's financially stable. But mm -hmm. most guys, if they're, you know, good, decent guys, they're not going to let the woman pay anyway. But um, she should at least offer. When the woman start paying, she's trying to establish control. What that got to do with it? That's what it is. Control? Continue. Control. It's in the man book. You don't know about that. You never oh, read that. Oh, okay. So I guess if that's the case, then maybe mm -hmm. the uh, women should let the men pay if yep. they're willing. You know, I think for the most part, yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's some situations where I think the woman should do something. I mean, especially if you've been together for a while. But if you got one of those that's just not working, not trying to establish anything, not trying to do anything, then yeah you that woman will find themselves paying all the time and i don't i don't think that's right that, that woman pay that man's not interested at all true he said no you, mm -mm, you pay your bill this is first and last <laughs> continue yeah that's true <laughs> okay number three are you a spender or are you a saver i'll answer that first i'm a little of both i will spend um, if there's something that I want, I will get it. But for the most part, I'm more with saving. You know, um, of course, the bill is going to be paid first. All bills are paid first. I hate late fees. I've, I've made it known in several videos. But if it's something that I really want, I'll buy it um, at a discount. Um, but I'm more of a saver. Mm -hmm. I'll say both. It yeah. Depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah, it depends on what it mm -hmm. is. 
and how bad you want it. It depends on how much extra money I have. Oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're a little of both. A little of both. Okay, number four. I concur. <laughs> number four, do you prefer generic or name brand goods? Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I'm at the point now, it really doesn't matter. It depends on that bottom price. For me, it, it just depends on that bottom price because as far as clothes, I'll buy whatever as long as it's decent. I know how to take care of it once I buy it. So it doesn't have to be name brand. I'm not big on name brands and flashy stuff because most of them look like the regular stuff anyway. I mean, you wouldn't know it was name brand unless somebody pointed out, oh, you know I'm wearing, and yeah, and some of it. To me, it's all about the fit. If I can find something, that's not a name brand that fit good, but that's hard for a man to do. Yeah. So it's all about the fit. Yeah, a woman can find clothes yeah, anywhere. It's all yeah. about the fit. I love New York and company, so and I can find Fortunately, most men clothes that's not name brand don't fit worth enough. Yeah, so you have to yeah. buy more expensive stuff. And so it just depends on the fit, you know. Yeah. It can't wear anything. Yeah. But yeah. as far as like generic, mm -hmm. um, I guess like foods and stuff, I'm funny about stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna buy the grocery store brand of sweet corn no i like bird's eye so it just kind of depends on what what it is um and then even when it comes to medicines i think we talked about generic medicines one time i'm big, big on that because yes yeah, the same thing so it just depends on what good are we talking about so yeah so the next one number five when should you discuss finances with someone you're dating Soon and very soon. <laughs> God, that's your money. That's your money, baby. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Soon and very soon. Yeah, if you see the relationship going somewhere, then yeah, you, you need to talk about that. I don't you need to see the relationship going across the street. You need to talk about how your money is, because we don't need to go across the street if you broke. Oh, That's really? what I feel. But you can build with some people. If you broke, it depends on the mindset. Mm -hmm. It depends on the mindset, because some people you can build and work with but you know then you can learn and teach each other something but if you just got somebody that, that's just broke always broke complaining about being broke what if you're 35 and you need a man no that's uh, lamont see? sanford yeah no. Mm -hmm. no we don't want no, no lamont nope. sanford's mm -hmm. mm -mm. so yeah as soon as possible maybe not on the first date mm -hmm. not on the first date but that should be on your itinerary in the next couple of dates at least yeah. if you mm -hmm. see it going somewhere Cross the street, let it find out. Oh gosh. Why did chicken cross the road? To find by the other person's finances. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Never heard of that one here. No. Just made that no. up. No, yeah, I Just figured. I figured. Okay, number six. Um what were you taught about money growing up and did that go in, into choosing a mate? Money growing up. We weren't I really wasn't taught anything, but I was shown that you work and pay bills. Um, my dad always worked, always, always worked long hours. Even after he retired, he still worked. My mom, I watched her get her check um, on Fridays, go cash it, lay out all her bills and only kept $20 for lunch for, you know, that next week or until the next pay period. So what i saw was to just work and pay bills um and pay them on time so mm -hmm. what about you we saw the same thing taught. but it wasn't really taught anything about money yeah as far as yeah. money we weren't taught we was taught anything. how to live how to not how to not um let your lights cut off yeah you really weren't taught that you just shown so yeah really taught uh in the s's word taught really nothing no we just shown mm -hmm. and that's how we learn so yeah that's true we, we both grew up in single um parent homes so yeah we watch our mothers kind of take control and do everything so yeah um number seven seven uh, i guess we already oh how do you feel about having financial conversations with me early in our relationship sharing salaries etc we don't have a problem with that. Mm -mm. No. I was a low-key baller, you know, low-key. Ball on the budget. Okay. Yeah, yeah, in my mind. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just worked and paid bills, so <laughs> yeah, I, I really wasn't trying to ball anything. But um, 
you know, you did, we always found time and money to kind of splurge on the weekends, but we knew that the, this is after we got together. So we knew the weeks that we had bills to pay, like mainly our mortgage, we stayed at home that weekend, you know, because we had a mortgage to pay. So we, we've always managed to, to pay the bills and then know when to splurge and when not to. So, so we talked about it, about sharing salaries early on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next question. Who is the most responsible with money between us? Well, you my money know. is your money and your money is your money. So this is you. Yep. You already know. It's me, of course. Mm-hmm. I ain't paying nobody late fee. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. So, yeah, I'm big on paying bills, paying them on time. And it used to cause, uh, I used to get mad because he would pay, help pay the bills, but he wouldn't, he couldn't tell you when a bill was due because I've always made sure to stay on top of it. So then eventually I just put everything on bank draft. So that way I won't have to worry about, um, you know, if it was paid or, you know, if he stopped and paid the water bill or made sure the light bill was paid, I set up the accounts online. Everything is set up on bank draft. Now I don't have to worry about it. I do go in and check just to make sure there's no outrageous bill for whatever reason. Um, I kind of glance over those emails that come in showing what the new bill is. But other than that, everything's on bank draft. Hmm. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next question. What does retirement look like to you? Mm. Mm. What does it look like to you? Retirement? Yes. Oh. Rest and relaxation on an island somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goal of mine. That is a goal of mine. I, what, you know, one goal is to pay bills and pay them off and be debt free um, by the time we're 50 or 51. Um, but then once I retire at the 55, yeah, we're getting a vacation home somewhere, some somebody's island. We haven't cho- we haven't you know really chose where. St. Thomas is on the list, of course. Cayman Islands is too. Um, but yeah, somebody's island. So that's what retirement looks like. You know, just relaxing and enjoying the fruits of our labor. Mm. What you think? Gotta work. Yeah, it sure will. <laughs> it sure will. Next question. Next question. How much debt do you have? A lot. Next question. We are the debt destroyers. So we're destroying it. We're destroying it. Oh yeah. Knock oh, yeah. it out. We destroying it, and everybody yep. know. Uh, you know, at this point, you should have follow out videos and know that we're on a debt free journey, um, and we've knocking out debt. We've already knocked out two credit cards. Knocking it down. Yeah, we destroyed it, mm-hmm. and we're working on Iris next. And knocking them down. From the way that we have everything set up, by the time the Iris is paid in full, my car be paid in full. So. Um, I got my car May 2nd of 18, so two and a half years, my car will be paid off. And then the next thing we'll tackle is Glory. his truck. <laughs> it mm. will be his truck, and it'll be, it should be paid off by July next year. Mm. So a year from now, you know, we'll be done with all of the small bills, and then be, we'll be ready to tackle the student loan, which is huge. In the house payment. And the house. So mm. yeah, we're working on 5051 being debt free. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the debt we have. We have five a lot. Years, six years. Yeah. About mm-hmm. five five years. Work. Yep. Debt free. It's not In our early fifties. I'm with it. Mm-hmm. I am with it. Okay. Next question. Ideally, how would you like to handle the finances when you marry? S- separate joint accounts, fifty fifty, or percentage based contribution. Well, we already married, so the way we handle it now is. Um, we both have decent jobs, so we contribute so much to the what we call the bill account, the house account, and that takes care of all of our household expenses, everything. Um, and plus, we have extra in there because you know car taxes and house taxes come up once a year, and something else is once a year. Car taxes, house taxes. Mm, that's all I can think of right now. But mm. um, that way, we put more into it. Now, what's left after that? goes into our own personal checking and savings but what we've been doing even though it's still going into our checking and savings we take that money and anything extra we try to put it towards debt so 
yeah, we still have checking and savings accounts um, just in case, you know, we need it and need to buy, you know, whatever we want to go out and buy something that we don't want to take from our bill account. Mm -hmm. So we do have those accounts, but for the most part, we take that extra money to um, buy things that we want or to pay on debt. That's what we're doing right now. And we still manage to save some, so yeah. And then once Derek's truck is paid off in July next year, we will try to live on one, in, in, one income. So that's the plan. And then just take everything else from the other person's income and, to, and put all of it towards debt because, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Bust that debt. <laughs> because we're just destroying debt, yes. That's right. Yeah. Bust so. it. That's what we look forward to doing. Plus it down. Yeah, we really, we really will buckle down once um, his truck is paid off. We, we're gonna try to live on one income, which I'm sure that we can, because we mm -hmm. make pretty good. So we'll live on one income and the other person's income will go towards all debt. Yes, let me see. I think those are all the questions that I wanted to mm. answer. There's several more, but for the most part, those are the ones I wanted to answer. There is one on here, so what is your credit score we're going to talk about credit scores in another video um and how to fix your credit and how to increase your credit score so we'll discuss our credit scores then but oh it's not bad so i will throw that out there <laughs> um i think that's it for the most part that's it i think it is hmm. oh last what? one last what? one what's one thing you wish I didn't do financially or think I could do better financially or we could do better financially or mm. we could we could we could have done differently mm. we could have gotten this debt destroyed a long time ago we could have done amen. that amen yep. it would have been debt free why not yeah if we would have just I don't know but, it's, hey would have could have should have yeah I think about that sometimes and I and it I I can't beat myself up because once you know better, you do better. So now that I know better, I, we will continue to do better. But yeah, just imagine if we were on this debt-free journey five years ago, you know. Just imagine you get on it from day one. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have any regrets, mm -mm. but I do wish that we would have known some things more clearly then than what we know now because we would be in a better place financially, um, which we're not in a bad place now, but we would definitely be in a better place. Um, but we can't change it now. All we can do is just move forward. So that's what we're gonna do. Yep. And we're gonna destroy this debt and we're gonna continue to pay our regular bills and we're gonna continue to pay our tithes and offering. Mm. And, Hallelujah. And we will reach our goals. I thought you was about to break out on the song. Nope, no song. Okay. But yeah, we will reach our goals yeah. because we refuse to be a slave to the lender. A slave to the lender. Yeah. So those are all the questions Better from the couples. Coming. That's right. Yeah. The couples and money talk um, tag by Tanisha with the Funding Budget Act. We thank mm -hmm. you for doing that video. Thank you, um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and we really. <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, sound we gotta get you some sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> We really enjoy talking about this because this is us, you know, what what we're going, what we've already gone through, and what we're doing now. So it, it was just fitting for us to do this video. So we thank you for um, challenging different people to do it as couples. So we appreciate you. And whoever watched this video, uh, do the same thing. You know, yeah. ask yourself the questions. See where you're at in your uh, financial life. Yeah. And let's get let's get to destroy that debt that's right yeah we're all in this together yeah we're all we we got a debt free, free community going on on instagram together we stand divided we fall without it then let's change it oh good times <laughs> oh that's an old good time song i ain't want to say the rest <laughs> that was a good, that's a good one. <laughs> anyway my name is d this is my husband dear we thank you for watching we ask you to sub subscribe and for the ones who's um, been supporting us. We really appreciate you. We really do. Sound effects for you. <laughs> we really appreciate you. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. Have a great day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.